Hello out there to all you Web Plus users. Uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to install the Nevo uh, slider from Serif Add-ons. First thing you need to do is go to serifaddons.com. That's the address there. Once you've done that, go to X6 Add-ons, go to Image Sliders, and click on Nevo slider. Now just go through the motions and, and purchase that. Once you purchase it, you'll get a zip folder that contains the following. Contains all of this. And you have instructions in there. The PDF file is uh, the instruction um, on how to use it. But we'll go through it just briefly anyway. Um, make sure that you put it in a folder like I've done here and, and just name it Nevo. And then that way you know where all your, your stuff is. Now go to your Web Plus page and you need to click on your Show Asset tab down the bottom here. And obviously it's not going to pop up like this straight away. You need to go to Open. And when you go to your Web Plus Asset Packs folder, you'll see it there. And you need to click on that and open that. Once you've done that, it'll look exactly like this. Then you need to take that and drag it out onto your page um, as we have done here. Now I've, I've done a tutorial on how to do a full width slider, so that's why this is a bit larger, but um, you can resize this any way you want. Now in order to have the images display you need to go to tools site manager file manager and you need to create a folder called nevo okay so obviously you'll just go new folder name it nevo and then once you've done that select the folder and then you need to add the files make sure your files are named one two and three um, because it's going to be a lot easier to name them in the actual fragment um, in here. So when you double click on this, we'll just go down and you can see here, this is these are our images. Uh, by default I think it's 01, 02, 03, but I, I keep it even simpler and just name the images 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you need more images, just copy um, as much as you need and then go down one and then just do that and you're able to um, go back there you're able to name the images however you want so it's as easy as that to add new images on there and also you've got quite a few different uh, things you can do here you can have, uh, at first by default it's set to random, so where it says fade here, the effect, if you type in random then it'll just do go through all the different effects. It's got slices and box calls, and, but if you've got a professional side I'd, I'd stick to fade for that one. I think it's much better. Um, you can adjust the time that the image is displayed for. This says 3000, so 3000 stands for 3 seconds. If you want to have it 5 seconds you change that, that to 5000. Um, the animation speed, which is the transition of the fade, you can have that, that at the moment it's at half a second. You can have that at up to a second, two seconds, however long you want it to take. To. Here for example you've got control nav and what this is, I'll just show you quickly, if we have a look at the page, see how you got these little things at the bottom here? Well, if we don't want those to be there, uh, all you need to do, go back to that, go to Control Nav, and set that to false. So true is yes, false is no and if we have a look at that again 
there you go they no longer appear down the bottom so just you know have a play with it um, I also have a tutorial as I said on how to do the full width banner uh, or slider all the way across and that that's quite a nice effect to have on the uh, on your web plus page so that's pretty much it I mean it's it's pretty basic and as I said the PDF explains everything to you anyway but I thought go, I'd, I'd do a quick tutorial on it so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys soon